Well, Prince Andrew's friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein has been well documented and one that the Duke of York has tried to distance himself from. But it would be, it would be um, a, a, a considerable stretch to say that he was a very, very close friend. But an explosive new book aims to set the record straight with testimony from the now deceased Epstein along with former Buckingham Palace staffers and other key witnesses. Ian Halperin has written bestsellers about Michael Jackson, Brangelina, uh, Whitney Houston and Kurt Cobain, uncovering secrets, scandals and dissecting facts from salacious fiction. Now his latest offering takes us behind the scenes of the world's powerful elite and gets to the truth of this right royal rumble. And we're joined now by Canadian author and journalist Ian Halperin. Good morning. Welcome to the show, Ian. Uh, what, what are we going to learn? Good what are morning, we gonna learn? Larry. It's a pleasure to be here. I hope everybody is safe and healthy during these tough pandemic times and it's my honour to be here this morning. Thank you. We're doing our best. Uh, nice to talk to you. What are we going to learn from this book that we don't already know? Well, you're going to learn first off because I interviewed Jeffrey Epstein on multiple occasions. You're going to learn how close he actually was to Prince Andrew. And Andrew denies a lot, but I have incontrovertible evidence that they were much closer than ever before revealed. And I have sources to back it up. I interviewed dozens of former household employees of Jeffrey Epstein, people close to the royal prince. And it's not a great situation. It really paints Andrew in a negative light and he has to come clean. He has to really give his uh, testimony to the federal authorities, the FBI, because there's victims out there and we need to know more. With all due respect, I'm a huge fan of the Queen and I feel terrible for what the Queen's going through right now. But when you read my book, you will read how elaborate how sophisticated and how detailed the Andrew Epstein relationship and the Maxwell triangle dates back to the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Because before his death, you had sat down with Epstein and he gave a very different impression about their relationship to the one Prince Andrew is now trying to sell. Yeah, I, look, everybody was trying to cover things up. And I've known for years how close Andrew actually was to Epstein. They camouflaged it as a business relationship. But yes, there were girls involved. There were trips involved. There was a lot of things involved that's never before been revealed. It's in my book, Controversy. And I'll tell you one thing. Prince Andrew, look, I don't think he lied about one thing. I think perhaps he, you know, I can't say he had sex with underage girls when I wasn't in the bedroom and I interviewed all kinds of people. I haven't seen the smoking gun, but there were definitely dalliances and Epstein was definitely putting them around a lot of uh, young girls, not necessarily underage, but he has to come clean and, and explain the true details of his relationship with Epstein, which I do in the book because I had multiple witnesses, testimony, and even interviews with Epstein himself. OK. Well, like every other TV show in the world, we've covered this story extensively. We read all the headlines, we've seen the interviews, and Virginia roberts Jeffrey's uh, accusations are incredibly compelling. Let's take a look. Gillen woke me up in the morning and said, you're going to meet a prince today. I didn't know at that point that I was going to be trafficked to that prince. So you've spoken to staff from the members-only nightclub Tramp, where Prince Andrew and Virginia allegedly were. What can you tell us about that? Look, I'm not going to say Roberts is fabricating anything, but you're talking so many years ago, and I specialize in uh, investigations, especially when it comes to uh, legal, and I hired forensic patho pathological experts who specialize in timelines, private investigators, and by no stretch am I accusing Roberts of fabricating anything, but the timeline, the timeline appears to possibly be off. And that's a big clue that nobody's explored except myself in my book. Now, if Roberts' timeline is off, she alleges she was 17 at the time, but it's so long ago, if she was 17, you don't need consent. 
it's automatic statutory rape. We know but by that, some yeah. chance that her timeline's off and she was 18, well, the whole case changes. I'm not saying by any stretch she's fabricating it, but I did interview employees at that Pizza Express who testified that Andrew was there that night. Now, that doesn't mean that he couldn't have gone to night, Tramp nightclub after, because let's face it, clubs in London only get going in the wee yeah. hours of the morning. Well, but Andrew's alibi that he was at Pizza Express with his daughter, who I believe was 12 years old then, seems to be solid. Okay. We need to examine the rest of the details of the night and nobody's done that and in my book I reveal a lot about the timeline. Yes, lots to read in there and we uh, can't wait to do that. Thank you so much Ian. Ian Halperin's book is called Controversy, Sex, Lies and Dirty Money by the World's Powerful Elite, Volume 1, A Royal Rumble. It's quite the title. Quite the title. It's, it's <laughs> available online. The details are on our website.